Hi, it's Mike Stevenson here. So I wanted to take a moment to just um, talk about some of the community activities and um, content activities that we do um, as part of Turbo 360. So we've got all this really great content. And I think sometimes uh, people forget about some of the history that we've got here. So if you're on our homepage, you go to the resources section and you can see here we've got um, all of these different um, sources of of good information that we have available so we'll have a quick look at what we've got in a couple of them so first off we've got our blog um there's a history of lots of really great content here covering different types of articles you can see we've got all the history here there's, there's a few more recent ones focused on um some of our specific um product features but we also have stuff like if you're you know if you're in biz talk world and you're doing a biz talk migration for example there's a good article by Lex there. Um, if we go a little bit further back, we've got articles about different aspects of, of Azure, different aspects of Azure, and um, you know we've got things about like the Integrate Summit. We'll come on to in a minute. So lots of really good blog content here. Next up, um, we're going to jump to white papers. So. Recently, um, I've just added this white paper here, which is written about comparing um, Turbo 360 Cost Manager with um, Azure Cost Management, um, just comparing the differences and why we feel that um, our product adds value. But we've also got other white papers. So, you know, Sandro's written some really great stuff in the past about logic apps, um, like down here about. Um, CICD approaches. Um, we've got some good stuff again for BizTalk customers who are migrating to Azure about um, th things like why would you want to migrate to Azure? So there's lots of really good content there, excuse me, that could help people um, understand in that migration, you know, what's the point of the migration? Where can you find value and cost savings and feature benefits and stuff like that? So there's loads of really great content around um, white papers here. Some of the other stuff we've got, so cost management workshops. So this is something we've been doing with partners recently. Um, and, you know, I was over in Sweden. We've got some workshops coming up in Germany and in the UK. And the idea is we want to get some people in a room to um, talk about cost management on Azure, share some of our experiences. There's the option of doing a hackathon as well if people want to try our tool out and see if you can identify some opportunities to help manage your own Azure costs or find some cost savings. You know, there'll be cases people can come away from the workshop having found, you know, thousands of pounds worth of cost savings for just an afternoon spent um, having a chat about it. So what we're really looking for here is we're keen to hear from people about where should we do these workshops? We, we You know, we can come to different parts of the world, team up with local partners, and talk about cost management. So if you're interested in a workshop, either privately at your organization or more generally, a bit like a user group hackathon kind of thing, just tell us where you are and what your interest is and we'll, we'll see if we can add that to the list of plans we have. So we also have um, Integrate 2024. So here, you know, the, the common... Um, common event we have every year in London. So this year it's June the 10th and 11th. King's Place in London's actually really near um, near King's Cross, which is awesome. And um, if we go down to so the idea of the conferences every year, um, we have a group of people who are some of the industry experts around integration, people from the Microsoft product team. You can see you know, if I look here, you get a view of how many people there were at the event last year. I think we had about 500 odd people there, if I remember right. Um, so if we go down, you can see great pictures. And then here's some of the speakers. So we've got some of the top guys in this row from Microsoft. You know, people like Clemens Vasters, Kent Weir, Wagner, Kevin, Slava, all, you know, top product team people. Um, we've got people like Vlad down here, who's from the APIM team, and Mike over here as well. Um, you know, some real product team experts who can share knowledge with you. But then beyond the product team, we also have some awesome MVPs and community speakers this year. So if um, we check out, you know, Nino's going to be talking about um, security um, stuff. Matthias is going to be talking about um, PaaS networking, which I think is going to be really cool. 
I know um, I saw Steve Jan in Netherlands recently. I know he's going to be talking about a real world sort of retail um, Azure integration, and we've got you know other guys like we've you know the conference is viewed as being so useful to people that people like Bill Martin and Mick are going to be coming over from um, from Australia. Actually, I'm forgetting Dan here as well. Coming over from Australia all the way to the UK um, to come and talk to integration people, so it's really good for them. And then, just squeezing down the bottom here, we've got Sandro, who's one of our um, favourite people to collaborate with. So Sandro's been a big supporter of us for years, and um, it's really you know good stuff at the event this year. Now, if we go a bit further down. So I think it's not long till the early bird tickets end. Um, that's pretty soon. So get in. We've got remote tickets as well. Um, so we'd love to see people in person. Um, so next up, we've got the podcast. So we've got two podcasts that we've run historically. Um, this is the new one we've been doing a lot of work with recently, the FinOps on Azure. So the idea here is to get some of the community people out there and people from different organizations who are dealing with cost management challenges on us yeah and, and I'm I'm the host for this podcast so we'll be having a bit of a chat with them understanding um, different perspectives and shared experiences and really just so we can all help um, you know share stories from the field to help us be better at getting value for money for customers you can see um, this is a really new podcast so we've got two episodes out already. Um, down here, so Sarah Vanner and I were chatting in the first episode. Um, you know, I was talking a little bit to Sarah Vanner about some of the COVID challenges of managing costs that led to him getting into this space in the first place of building products to help manage cost, and why he originally started doing that. Um, Rick, um, which I guess the other thing from Sarah Vanner's perspective as a CEO, you know, he's really. He has all that deep technical experience in his history, but also as a CEO, he needs to understand how he can efficiently run his business. Um, so I think he he's really interesting because he has one foot in either side of the fence, which is a good insight. Um, Rick's obviously a, a long-term Microsoft um, MVP and regional director, years of experience with Azure, and there's lots of really good little um, insights on that call. Um We've got Ahmed from Contega coming up in the next video, um, and then we'll be, we, you know, we'll be speaking to other people moving forward. Really keen to get feedback from people about who you want to see on that podcast. Um, we also have the Azure On Air podcast. So there's a real history of a long, you know, a lot of different people we've had um, historically with different episodes. You can see we had um, Michael over here. Um, talking about FinOps stuff. We've got some uh, stuff with Vladimir about uh, monitoring. The, the, you know, there's all different angles. We've, you know, we've had fabric sessions over here, log analytics, and just this, you know, this, this history of um, good sessions over a long period of time with different aspects of Azure. Um, so there's a, you know, a bit of a gold mine of historical podca uh, podcasts there. Now, we also, I think I might have missed our webinar, so I'll just jump back over to that one. So here we've got um, a history of webinars. So the next one we've got coming up in early April is with Mick Badrin. So Mick's one of our speakers at the Integrate Summit um, coming up soon, um, coming up in the summer. So what a lot of the speakers are doing is they're just going to share a bit of an insight with them. Um, some other stuff that the guys talk about so they can share some of their experiences and really just you know get a bit of engagement leading up to the conference so mick's going to be the first one to join us um so i'm looking forward to seeing mick um, you know personally mick's a good friend of mine i've not seen him for years because of you know all the changes like covid and how we haven't really been to conference as much so it'll be very great to see mick in the summer um if we go a bit further down, you'll see some of our other podcasts here, sorry, other webinars. So we had um, one about cost management recently that I was running. We've had ones about biz talk migration functions. There was a power automate one. Um, we've had biz talk migrations in the past. Um, and then, you know, you can see all the history here. So all, all of these podcasts, um, available via the website they're often on youtube as well so you can you know you can go and find them that way now 
The last piece um, is BizTalk to Azure Migration. So we've got a whole bunch of content here. Some of these are in the white paper. Um, this is meant to be a landing page where you can find content behind here to help you kind of look at um, BizTalk migration from different perspectives. So there's a little bit about how our product fits in. There's a little bit about um, community content. Um, and, and, you know, it's all about sort of trying to help customers migrate to Azure. Um, in addition to um, stuff on our own website, there's also the serverless um, notes um, site here. So here we've got um, a number of years of history of people who've contributed um, tips and tricks. So if you take, you know, say functions, for example, you can see we've got loads of different little articles here with advice about how to do certain things. You know, so if we group, um, we go back here, we've got functions, durable functions, AKS, event grade, you know, logic apps, and a whole bunch of other different um, tips and tricks that people have contributed over the years. This um, this resource originally was started many years ago by Steve, Jan, and Kent. Um, and then over time, more people have contributed to this. There's a really good little... Um, little group of um, resources in here now we also have integration playbook which is a resource that i've put together um, so this is a you know sponsored by table 360 resource so there's lots of stuff here about um you know things like microsoft roadmaps um architecture thinking about integration you know if you want to look at different technologies so you know we've got information about some of the different techs over here there's lots of um Good stuff. If you go down into this guidance section, there's lots of good biz talk to AIS migration stuff here. So if you look at things like, you know, you want to learn about how to do this, we've got links to all the, the good resources you should look at. If you're a decision maker, um, you've got, you know, different um, articles here, you know, so different um, white papers and content from Microsoft and other community members. And we really try to collaborate, uh, so, sorry, pull together all of the different content that different perspectives of people would have. So things like if you're a developer, if you go in here, there's a bunch of content um, by different sources that tell you about different, um, different ways of doing logic app development for example and you know further down we've got things like service bus apim and stuff like that good just good resources we'd love to hear from people about other things we should add here because it's a bit of a kind of a catch of, of all the good stuff for biz talk migration um hopefully that gives people a view of some of the community content we've got um love to hear about what things people like what things they'd like to see more of um but otherwise have a great week thank you